The call for crusade was made by Blessed Pope Urban II in 1095. He stressed the outrages suffered by fellow Christians at the hands of the militant Muslims with these words. They have invaded the lands of those Christians and have depopulated them by the sword, pillage, and fire. They have led away a part of the captives into their own country and a part they have destroyed by cruel tortures. Others they bind to a post and pierce with arrows. Others they compel to extend their necks and then, attacking them with naked swords, attempt to cut through the neck with a single blow. What shall I say of the abominable rape of the women? To speak of it is worse than to be silent. On whom therefore is the labor of avenging these wrongs and of recovering this territory incumbent, not upon you? Such descriptions raised the indignation of the multitudes and inspired an inevitable response. The general view was that the crusade was justified as a defensive reaction to injuries sustained by the faithful in consequence of past or present aggressions. The crusaders were protecting the right and possibility of pilgrims to go to the Holy Land.